um, which kind of leads to the next question. It's Bruce again. Um, where would you like the next expansion team? We were speculating on this a little in our chat before. I had a couple of suggestions. Well, Tazzy was one of them, obviously. I and then you said Papua yeah. New Guinea, didn't you? No, I was saying <laughs> Illawarra, Wollongong, possibly, because it's... You'd I have think... a third New South Wales team before you'd have a third WA team. I couldn't. I can't say a third team <laughs> fitting in idea. Perth. I couldn't say a third team. What do you mean? Like I couldn't say enough people but, splitting from Eagles or Dockers to give a shit about. But a in third New team South w- Wales, you think they would get enough numbers from GWS? You'd get City? the location factor. You'd get all the I Wollongong. Think that's very Illawarra. ambitious. Mm. I think. Well, isn't what? Where is Wollongong? Is it Western Sydney? No, nah, it's it's like a few hours south. Okay. So Wollongong and Illawarra are pretty close together. Like I know they have an NBL team. That's sort of why I suggested them. Obviously, you need. A lot bigger facilities for an AFL team than an NBL. NBL, you just need a basketball court with a few thousand seats. I, AFL, you need at least a 15,000 seat footy oval at a minimum, probably more seats, really. Yeah. I firmly disagree with you that not enough WA fans will get on board. I firmly disagree with that. I think, I you, think you could generate it. Well, the same way that enough Dockers fans jumped on to thing is, Thing is... Have you, what Fremantle about and Perth, it? there's always been Fremantle people. Fremantle people mm. have always had their own identity. So mm. the second the Fremantle team came in, all the people that identify as Freo sure. people in there. I don't see another location like that in Perth where people identify with that location more than a team they've it, spent their 20 years invested in. It would need to be branded correctly. But there's enough people who watch AFL. The, yeah, the, the, the people are members. here, but what I'm saying is their loyalty. The Eagles have 90,000 members <laughs> in a 60,000 seat stadium. There's been, there were a lot, uh, including Luke Jackson is an example of this, of Eagles fans who defected to Fremantle because they couldn't get tickets to games. Mm. And we still have that issue. For those yeah. Eagles fans that don't want to defect to Fremantle, they could pop up for this new team. I believe it's viable, 100%. What location, though? Oh, that, I feel Jundal like that's up? secondary. I don't. Yeah, maybe. It'd be Joondal up or Mantra. Yeah, but you wouldn't necessarily have to brand them as being specifically from there. It's like West <laughs> Coast. They can make it a just generic Perth team. Mm-hmm. I don't know what you call it. The branding is a secondary issue, but yeah. yeah. But anyway, so let's say let's assume that you needed two teams. I'd sooner say a Northern Territory. T- uh, that's actually what Marvel's suggestion was: a Northern Territory team, but even you if you split games between Darwin and Alice. But how many players are going to? How many number one draft picks are going to stay up there? Darwin's actually a very nice place to live, believe it or not. The so wet, so beautiful Gold Coast. Yeah, and nobody stays there. <laughs> mm. I don't know. Okay, so <laughs> let's just. What, your opinion is. What, uh, Wollongong and Darwin? Uh, th- that, that was my suggest- I'm not saying put a team there. I'm, that was a suggestion. Like, okay. Northern Territory would probably be if I pick one. Other than- I'll say Tasmania. Yeah. I, me saying Tasmania is a given, so I didn't okay. say it. Let's okay. be realistic. Yeah, you are. I say that constantly. You do say that, to be fair to you. Yeah. It'd have to be, a, uh, as much as I don't like a team being called a state, I'd probably call it Hobart. Mm. But you'd have to try and get the catchment of the whole Tassie state. Yeah. Rather than call it Tasmania Devils, I think that's shit. Mm. But anyway, that's, that that is a branding issue. And then I reckon WA or South Australia is the next expansion point. They're, they're okay. traditional football states. Yeah, they are. I still yeah. I can't see enough people getting behind another team here. I think you overrate how committed some of these Fremantle West Coast fans are to their team. That would mm. I reckon they would be able to switch. Uh. There would have been a, a few Sydney fans that jumped to GWS and Brisbane fans that went to Gold Coast. A lot of Canberra people jumped on GWS because they mm. get enough Canberra games there and a lot of people move to Canberra because they get government gigs and whatnot. Like mm. people from football states who care about football move to Canberra. How much did Canberra really represent of GWS's members? I think it's a solid percentage. Yeah, fair enough. Anyway, we obviously disagree. I'm going to say Perth and Tasmania were the next two teams. Northern yeah. Territory and Tassie. Yeah, fair enough. I think those are awful ideas. <laughs> well, one of them is anyway. Anyway... Um, man, this podcast has gone for ages, but that's all right. I'm having fun. This is good. There's only like three.